This video is for a review of predicting chemical equations for my chemistry student. So your job is to try each of these and pause after each one to see if you got the right answer or not. We'll start with the first one. We have C5H12 plus oxygen. Now this one is definitely a combustion reaction because we're simply adding oxygen to a carbon compound. So our products are going to be carbon dioxide plus water. Of course, once we write everything, we need to balance the equation. So I have five carbons here. So I'm going to put a five here to get my carbons to become five. I have 12 hydrogens and only two here. So I need to put a six here. And I balance my oxygens last, of course. So I've got 10 oxygens here. <clears throat> okay, and I have six oxygens over here. So 10 plus six, of course, is 16. So then I need to put an eight in front of here. Okay, so that equation is now balanced as is. All right, let's take a look at the next one. We have potassium iodide with aluminum bromide. So I have a compound plus a compound. Uh, this one would be a double displacement reaction. So then the aluminum will go with the iodine and the potassium will go with the bromine. So then I've got KBr. Potassium is plus one, bromine is minus one. That balances as it is, plus aluminum iodide. Al is plus three, iodine is minus one. Crisscross charges, I need to put a three here. Okay. Now our job is to balance everything. I have three bromines, but only one here. So I can put a three in front of this. That of course makes me put a three in front of this because I've got three potassiums. Now I have three potassiums and three iodines and three bromines. That equation is now balanced. On to the next reaction. Indium plus fluorine. This is element plus element. Only thing you can do with those is make a compound. So this is a synthesis reaction. So this is IN, and of course a plus three on IN, and fluorine F minus one. Crisscrossing the charges, I put a three here. Now when I try to balance this, I recognize I have a two to three, which when I look at that, what this means is I have a least common denominator of six. So if I put a three in front of this, I will get six fluorines. And if I put a two in front of this, I will have six fluorines. But that, of course, uh, I have to put a two in front of the uh, indium to get the indiums to be equal to each other. All right, next reaction. Potassium is an element plus manganese phosphate or magnesium phosphate. Okay, this one, okay, must be a single displacement of an element Okay, plus a compound. And I do detect an error here. There should be actually a three for our magnesium, and there should be a two for our phosphate. Okay, so we can fix that. So potassium is gonna take the place of magnesium in this compound. So I have potassium, which is a plus one. I'm now gonna put it with the phosphate, PO4, and, I'm, and minus three. I'm doing this because this has to be a single displacement reaction. So single displacement, a metal will knock the metal out. A non-metal would knock the non-metal out. Since potassium and magnesium are both metals, that's why potassium will kick the magnesium out. Crisscrossing charges, I put a three here. Okay, what's left over would be magnesium all by itself, Mg. Okay. Now we need to balance this. Uh, I see I've got one potassium, but I need three over here, so I'm gonna place a three here. And there are three magnesiums here with that correction. Therefore, I need to put a three right here for my magnesium. Okay, and last but not least, this one here, I just have a compound. A compound means it's going to break into its elements. So then I'll put manganese by itself. And I'll put oxygen by itself. Now remember, oxygen's a diatom, so I'm going to make that O2. Okay, let's balance that. I have a seven and a two. The least common denominator of that is 14. Therefore, I need to put a two in front of this one here and place a seven in front of this. Seven times two is 14, two times seven is 14. But now that 
uh, I have to have four manganeses now. Two times two is four. So I place the four right in front of this here. Okay, and that's our review of our predicting balancing equations. And there is one example of each kind of reaction, a combustion, double displacement, synthesis, single displacement, and decomposition.